I can do all things, all things through Christ that strengthens me. And big shout out to my girl Carla on doing this video on presenting our body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. And I actually done a video on this a while back, but you want me to come back and do this video and tie it in with, you know, like the you, you was talking about the the way Bishop Eddie Long dressed and should you be in front of the congregation like that and, and you know I can't break it down no simpler way than to go to Romans 12 and 1 like I said in the other video a long time ago Romans 12 and 1 says we, we're supposed to present our body a living sacrifice to be holy and acceptable and we know we all know what it means to be holy and acceptable and, and you had a good question he was asking me about myself and you know do I have persons and tattoos no God know that and I'm not saying that by bragging but I do not have Persons in my ears and all tattoos. That was upon a time when I was young, I had my ears first. But, you know, as I got older, like the Bible say, when I done things as a child, when I was a child. But now I'm older, I put away a lot of, you know, foolish things and, and not knocking nobody that do it. But once I started becoming a minister of music, I had to put away a lot of stuff. I had to present my body holy and acceptable, and I had to live a different kind of way. Because you can't keep doing the same things that you used to do when you become born again. So you said on, on Bishop Eddie Long, and I totally agree with you. I'm not here to talk bad about Bishop Eddie Long. I pray for new birth, and God lift new birth and Eddie Long up, you know, while I speak as the sound of my voice. Because when you are in front of that many people, especially when you're on TV, I know you was talking about the, you know, the pictures that he sent out in the phone and, and everything. And, yeah, and I will stand bold and say this because, you know, Bishop Eddie Long, he has a nice body. Just like a lot of people lust behind a lot of people about it. People love to see T.O. take his shirt off. And not just women, men do the same thing. You know, men and women, they do the same thing. And when you're in front of that many people, you, you can't reveal your body like that. Just my opinion. You can't because you, you're showing off your arms, your chest, your triceps, your biceps. And, and you got people in your congregation already lusting. Because everybody sitting in the congregation ain't saved. Everybody that sits in the pool pits ain't saved. Everybody in the choir stands ain't saved. And I'm just being blunt and I'm being real. And when you present your body in front of that many people, just, you best to believe that somebody out there is not focusing on the word of God because now you are so revealing. And once you reveal your body, people lose focus on what you are talking about. So you have to be holy and acceptable. And I agree with you 100%. You shouldn't be in front of the church like that, you know. And that ain't just for Bishop Eddie Long. It's a lot of people do that. I see musicians all the time, you know, wearing tight, you know, search the church. And, and people in the choir stand can't even focus because they'll focus on what somebody is wearing and they are lusting in their mind. And I'm just keeping it real. The, the Bible say, present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. And that's why I say I tie that in because even when you look at Romans, I believe, 12 and 3, it says... Don't think highly of yourself than you ought to because some of these things people are doing is going to their head. And now they're thinking they all let you know they look good, they're speaking good, and before you know it, they're thinking highly of themselves than they should. And Romans teaches that too. You know, Paul teaches us how to be on a lot of things. And that's just my opinion, just like me representing myself as a minister of music. You might see me on my day off with, you know, my little jersey on and my cap, you know, or whatever. But when I come to church, oh no. You're not going to see me as a minister of music with earrings in my ears and my lips, tattoos all over my body. But that's just me. And I'm not down to nobody to do it. Because the Bible teaches me from my understanding not to mark up my body and purse my body. I got to keep, this is my temple. And I have to keep my temple holy and acceptable because I am representing Christ. And when you represent Christ, especially as a leader, as a man of God, I can't be in front of the church like that. See, the foolish stuff I used to do, I had to put that away because I am not only setting an example for myself, but I'm setting an example for others. So I have to be holy and acceptable. And, and I agree with you. I just got to say that again. And I saw a lot of comments on that because I wanted that long time ago because I say this man got a nice body. And I mean it out of respect. Ain't nothing gay about me, but the man got a nice body. And when you are revealing your body to people, People are not focusing on what you think they're focusing on. But I'm just going to keep it real. You got men in the congregation that like men, and you got women in the congregation that like women and men. So, And you got little kids confused. And you, you see the allegations. I'm not saying he's guilty or not, but I'm saying that you, pre, you preach this all up against homosexuality and everything else. But then when people look at him, they look at him different because he is showing off his body. And when you got to get that much attention, some ain't right. And I'm not... I'm not talking about Bishop Eddie like that in that way, but something ain't right. That go for anybody. When you got to reveal your body 
to get attention. Something ain't right. Because a real woman and a real man, you do not have to reveal your body for somebody to know that you have a body. Because it's not what's on the outside anyway. It's what's on the inside. You can be fine. You can have a Coke bottle shaped body or whatever, but you can not You can have no brains in your head. And you can just be stuck on yourself and conceited, like a lot of people are. Like I say about, about Black Planet and, and even on some of these MySpaces and, and Facebook Facebook pages, some people just on her just to take pictures of their body and show off their body. And ain't nothing godly about it. Yeah. And once you get to a certain point in your life, see, like me, the older I get, the, most, the more I look back on my life, the most stupid some of the things I did look to me. But that's why the Bible say when we grow up, you know, we ain't a child no more. When we grow up, we put away a lot of foolish things. But it's just some people that don't want to grow up and they want attention. They want to be looked at. They got nice bodies. They want to show it. They want to, you got people all, all on the website just got their butts all out, man, everything. It, it's just, it's too revealing, first of all. And then it's not godly. But everybody is not in God. So that's why I got to say that like that. Because only God can change you. So I don't judge nobody. I just... Pray for him. And to, to tie that in with Bishop Eddie Long, like I say, I, I got to agree. Because you are a man of God. That's like me being a minister of music. I don't have no reason going to my church, putting on little old bitty shirts, you know, so people can, can see what I got or whatever. That's, that's not how it's supposed to be. Because God is going to hold me accountable because I'm a leader. And as a leader, that is messing up people's mind. I have to lead the right way, so I got to present my body the right way. I don't need no tattoos. I have no tattoos. I have no earrings. That's just me, and I'm not judging. So that's just, you ask me about myself, that's how I am. And the only reason I got earrings back in the day was because my brother did it. And once I got older, I, I didn't even know why I was doing it no more. I just let, let my ears close up. And then when I started reading and studying the scriptures, getting my own understanding, that's what made me straighten up my life. You know, but there's too many people that's so judgmental. So I agree with you on that. Now, you don't supposed to be in front of no congregation like that, revealing off your body, because if you got a nice body, People are going to look at it, and people are going to lust in their mind, just real talk. Just like men, when they see a woman walking down the street or in the mall or somewhere, they going to lust in their mind. Yeah, because the, the, the clothes people wear now, they so tight. That's why I say it's not just it's not just the men do this. I know a lot of people that call themselves evangelists that wear short skirts, and shirts, skirts be so short they can't burn even walk. And it's so revealing. I don't know about a lot of y'all, but I know when we was coming up in church and still some of these churches to this day, if a woman came into the church with a short skirt on, they would get that white cloth and, and cover you up or they would pull you to the side. Because as a man of God trying to focus and teach the word in the pulpit, he can look out in the congregation and see the women's, you know, skirts and can see them see in between their legs. So you got to present yourself holy and acceptable. Yeah, there's too many people get out of the club and go to the church with the same thing they had on in the club that's too revealing. Showing all you, you got to cover up, you know, because one thing you don't want to do is have people looking and lusting in their mind behind you, because I don't know about you, because we are all human, and we are all in the flesh. I know when I see a fine woman, I'm going to look, whether I'm with somebody or not. That's just in your nature to look. Now, whether you lusting or whatever, that's on you and God, but it's in your nature to look at a beautiful woman, or same with a woman, going to look at a beautiful man with a body. So... I agree with you 100%. I don't, I don't, I don't like that, and I don't think Bishop Eddie Long should have did that. But who am I? You know, I, I, I can't, I couldn't sit up and look at nobody in the pulpit with, with, with tank tops on and stuff. You know, now, like I said, you got men lusting after men nowadays. Yeah, I'm just being real. I, I probably walk out. You know, because, but it's hard because the scripture teaches you. You don't, you don't look at a person for what they have done. You look at their heart. So when you look at that scripture, it make you think even twice. You know, it's a lot of things in life that I don't agree with. I really don't. But I have to deal with it, and I have to listen because God can use anybody. No matter how bad you are, God can use you. Like I say, look at Moses. Oh, yeah. Look at a lot of people in the Bible. Look at David, lusting after Bathsheba. Had his own man, so on his own, one of his own soldiers put on the front row. You know, killed behind Bathsheba. Lusting at, at, at Bathsheba, taking the bath while he's standing up there looking and wanted to have her uh, because a lot of his power went to his head. Look at Moses, how disobedient Moses was. So when I when I talk about like Bishop Eddie Long, I always anybody, not just Bishop Eddie Long, I have to think about people in the Bible. Yeah, Moses murdered a man. Moses committed murder and still God used him. Moses saw one of his own men being beat up and Moses murdered a man behind that. But look how God still used Moses. Even though Moses didn't make it in the promised land with the younger generation, but God still used them. He died at 120 years old. And then some say that God 
buried Moses himself because nobody really found Moses' body. And that's that's just deep. You look at it and think about it like that. So when we when we when we pointing all these fingers and judging, you got to be careful. I'm not here to say that God should have never used Bishop Eddie Long because that man have done a lot. See, I look at the good in people. I don't look at the bad. I look at the good in people and remember the good because God going God to hold you accountable for the good and the bad. And see, I'm not God. So who am I to hold you accountable for anything you done done in your life when I wasn't worthy myself? So I do, but I do agree with you on that. That's just my opinion and my intake. I wouldn't. You know, I don't agree with people being in front of the church like that. That's just me. You know, you want my honest to God opinion? Now nah, you got to cover up. Anything too revealing, cover it up because eyes are watching. Be blessed.